An interesting little debate that's taking place right now. You can chime in at 8772-RADIO-U. It says here, government officials are one step closer to making impaired driving prevention technology a safety standard in new cars. In other words, there is technology that exists in the early stages of development that could be installed if you bought a brand new car that would be able to detect if you were about to drive drunk and therefore prevent you from actually driving. Now, obviously, let's look at this. You look at the pro, people wouldn't be able to drive drunk. That's good. That's a very good thing. Driving drunk, bad. We all agree. The ba- the, what some naysayers might say is if you install this in every new car, is that a little bit of an encroachment on some privacy? The car that belongs to you. Uh, and also, you, uh, of course, another thing you could say is, how do we know? How do we trust this? Mm. How could it be used against people that maybe aren't actually trying to get behind the wheel drunk? Uh, there's a lot of a lot of potential foibles, but are the foibles worth it to prevent drunk driving, which is obviously a big problem? So I imagine this technology. Yep. It says that it can sense it. Yes. Some people, if you, uh, I think initially coming to mind, would think, oh, so they're going to put a breathalyzer in every single vehicle. That you'd have to blow into. Uh, no, that's not what they're doing. This would be, I mean, I guess similar to the kind of like, how you have lane assist that makes sure you don't try to change lanes with somebody behind you, or like how you can automatically parallel park, some kind of technology that's going to be able to detect based off of your behavior and movements. Maybe it can read your eyes. I'm not sure. Uh, but it would be able to sense based off of your behavior if you are drunk. Oh, no. Yeah. This is never, never going to work. Probably, yeah, because it, it would always say I'm too drunk. To Every morning when I'm driving into Radio U yeah. at like 5 in the morning, there's no shot they wouldn't be like, this guy, he cannot be driving. Yeah. Because I'm like half awake. I'm but, like kind of like, I'm like pushing the, the center lane a little bit. I'm getting back over. I'm trying to keep myself all locked in here. Uh-huh. I don't want them telling me that I need to stop on the way. But... That said, even if we aren't drunk, if we're unsafe to drive, we're unsafe to drive. But then again, isn't that what a driver's license is telling you? If we got the license, we're safe to drive. What about this? Instead of maybe being able to tell by your driving, maybe when you get in the car, Uh it asks you a question and you only have so much time to react. Ooh. Like, what would the questions be? Uh, Maybe like, go ahead and give me M through P backwards. And that would be it. You got me. I mean, you failed. No, you're not driving. You didn't. You weren't asking me. <laughs> uh, isn't that when they give, when the police ask you to do that, isn't that like to see if you follow instruction, not to actually see if you could accurately do it? I don't know if it's what the that's inner what workings always, are. That's what I've learned. I wouldn't mind. From a, all the times I've been pulled over now. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind just maybe a simple question. If you can answer the question, then, you know, what's the square that root is, of 64? Yeah, but most people, what if you don't know that anyways? Unfortunately, you, you're not going to be able to drive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I mean, your approach is a lot simpler and a little maybe less invasive uh, or just could, has less potential to be misused, I guess you could say. And it would also be a little annoying, too. Let's say, let's say even if they just put the breathalyzer in there, right? Yeah. And every, but it would be annoying that every time you got in the car... You got to blow into that yeah, thing. Yeah, well. You would think that it would maybe be, it'd be pretty quick. And what, but many would say uh, that's like, that would be like people coming into your house without a warrant just to check, you know? It's yeah. A, right, like, you have to have a reason to think I'm dangerous uh, to actually start charging me or investigating me kind of stuff. But if they put it in the car, it would, it would be just as normal as putting your seatbelt on probably if you gave it like three years. Yeah. And People everybody, everybody who's not drunk, I mean, the breathalyzer would probably be more accurate and everybody who's not drunk shouldn't have too much of a problem with that. Right. You would think they would get that right. People so, would be upset. The first time it messes up. Oh man, everybody's outraged. That's right. And you know, a mess up. 8772 radio. U. where do you land on the anti-drunk driving technology? Wasn't that a great riot clip? 
While you're here, you should watch more of our videos and subscribe so you don't miss what we do next.